Yes. Now we'll discuss about the patella. This is knee cap. Meaning of the patella is a small plate. It is a small plate like structure. This is anterior view of the patella. Here is this is apex. It is triangular in shape. This is apex. This is base. This is base and this is lateral border, this is lateral border, this is medial border. Patella is largest sesamoid bone present in tendon of the quadriceps femoris muscle the tendon of quadriceps femoris it has base or superior border base or superior border it has medial border lateral border it has apex its shape is like a small plate. This is anterior view. It has two surfaces, anterior surface and posterior surface. So this is anterior surface. Here, this surface is rough. If you turn like this, you can see posterior surface. So this is posterior surface. This is posterior surface. This is anterior surface. This is posterior surface. About one third of the, one fourth part of the posterior surface. This is one fourth part of the posterior surface. Is a rough. It is non-articular. It provides the attachment. the ligamentum patelli. So this is ligamentum patelli. And the rest part, upper three-fourth part is divided into two region two portions by a vertical ridge this is a vertical ridge present on posterior surface which divide the surface into this is lateral portion and medial portion in this diagram this is lateral portion this is this is lateral this is medial here this is lateral this is lateral border. If you turn this, this becomes lateral border. This is medial border. It is medial border. So this posterior surface, this portion is upper three fourth part is articular. It is divided into two part by vertical ridge. This is vertical ridge. It is divided into lateral part and medial part. Medial part again. divided by a vertical ridge. This is another ridge. It is ill-defined ridge. So here, this again divides into medial 
and this is medial portion this is part of the medial portion it lies here if you see This is condyles of the femur, lateral condyle, this is medial condyle. Here is position of the pattern. This is position of the pattern. It is like this. Here vestus medialis and vestus lateralis muscle attached. So this is medial portion, this is lateral portion and this is a ridge. This medial portion again divided by ill defined ridge into this medial this medial part. So medial portion is again divided by a ridge into two parts. This is medial flange. Now, and the lines, there are also two lines by this, this posterior articular surface is divided into three parts. So, Posterior surface is this is lowermost part, middle, and superior part. During flexion, this part, this is medial portion, medial most portion, this medial most portion, this part articulate with this. During full flexion, this articulate with this. And this number one, this part, the lower most part, articulates with condyle, this area, during extension. This middle portion articulates during slight flexion. And this, this during slight flexion. And this part articulates during mid flexion. Mid flexion. So, this is the articulation between patella and condyles in different part of movement. This is foot during full flexion, during extension, during slight flexion, and during mid flexion. So this is all about the part one of the patella. Thank you.